I think that this could be the biggest uh, improvement to Siri that we've seen since it's been released, and that's because there have been no improvements to Siri since it's been released. In fact, it's only been getting worse. I feel like Siri understands me less now than it did when it was first released. Apple is, of course, going to be making a big push into AI, and uh, there was an interesting report out this week that covered some of the details about what they might be doing with AI, and not only that, but how their realization that they are way behind in AI definitely contributed to them abandoning their car project so that they could dedicate more resources into catching up, which I had not heard before. That was that was a new piece of the story. Do we you hear- listen to us talking about it? I mean, I didn't. No, when you, usually when one of you Great. were talking, I just they're spacing Ears out. <laughs> Wait, what's the what's the equivalent of eyes glazing over for ears? You know what's worse is it was probably <laughs> me talking about it at some point. You know, that's probably what actually happened. I don't even remember it. Apple reportedly intends to fulfill the hopes of so many iPhone users by giving the Siri voice assistant an upgrade with artificial intelligence. Siri supposedly won't become a general purpose chatbot. It'll be focused on better handling the sort of tasks iPhone users need. So I think from what I read, essentially the ones that it already does, but not well. Apple is expected to show off its AI work at its uh, WWDC in June when it releases an improved Siri that is more conversational and versatile. The New York Times reported Friday, the plan supportedly is not to make, I just read that part. Well, I'll read it again for emphasis because I think this is actually important. The plan supposedly is not to make Siri into a direct competitor for chat, chat GPT. So they're going to enable, you know, generative AI in some capacity. And it, it sounds like they're even talking with open AI along with everybody else on how they can weave open AI into Siri. I kind of wonder if they're even going to call it Siri because Siri, the brand is so tainted at this point that I don't know if they can recover it. It, it might be dead. So they might need to change the name to something else. But whatever they change it to, if they do change it to anything, they definitely have to make it a name that's easy to invoke so that you can call it. It can't be something long and arduous because that's how lazy we've all become as a society. Like People used to break rocks all day with like pickaxes, and now if we have to say more than three syllables, we can't, we can't be bothered to do it. That's where we're at as a society. But let me continue Grim. the story here. <laughs> you didn't want my cultural commentary weaved in there? Too bad. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Quote, Apple has focused on making Siri better better at handling tasks that it already does, including setting timers, creating calendar appointments, and adding items to a grocery list. It would also be able to summarize text, mes- text messages. Well, that would be helpful. Maybe also understand the words that are coming out of our mouths so that the text messages don't change. Uh, he has a ball to he has a ball like the avocado, which happens to me all the time for some reason. <laughs> Let's see here. It's assumed that the built-in applications will be able to, for example, summarize emails, web pages, and text message chats. Users will probably be able to seamlessly remove objects from images and perhaps add them, or they might be able to tweak their photos during spoken commands. Okay, blah, 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 so on and so forth. I, I, I still often wonder how much people are going to use these kinds of features and how often, but uh, comparing what you saw in the open AI demo with what you experienced in day to day was like, Oh my God, yeah, maybe it is a good thing. They killed that car project. Maybe it is a good idea that they uh, double down on making this right because it, it's just, <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just laughable. And I, I mean, I hope they do more than make it, you know, set timers a little bit better. I mean, that's actually one of the things that it, it, frequently <laughs> does pretty works, well works yeah for. exactly <laughs> like yeah. i i don't know how much better that needs to get <laughs> for instance but uh and frankly that's one of the only things i use it for anymore because half the other time uh, it, it doesn't do what i ask it to do even when it's something it ought to do i use siri mostly on accident when sometimes <laughs> it just activates automatically like it just did when we were having that conversation and it's like, I can't find a search for brown dogs jump. I think that's what it just said to me. I'm like, what? <laughs> that's how I yeah. interact with Siri for the most part. Not what? on purpose, but by accident. Honestly, like most of my interactions uh, have to do with my wife asking Siri a question. 
in a room down the hall and and the, and the home pod mini failing to answer it in my office and my so my wife just keeps saying it again over and over louder hey siri what are you doing today? hey siri what do you i'm like it's answering it in my office with <laughs> asking the question but that that's one of the things that i find really uh annoying see sure just ask sorry uh i i find that annoying that I've got so many instances of Apple devices in my house that are always listening. And, you know, Apple Apple says it figured out how to, uh, you know, has all this fancy stuff in the background that makes it, you know, go to the right one. But nine times out of ten, it, it does not go to the one that I am uh, expecting or hoping to have it. Have oh, it yeah. To, that know? happens to me all the time. One last quote out of this story. Apple also fears that if it fails to develop its own AI system... The iPhone could become a dumb brick compared to other <laughs> technology. So a big part of this is just reactive. Because I think to your point earlier, Lewis, like a lot of people are scrambling to implement their own AI systems, but don't maybe know what they're going to do with them yet or if people are actually going to use them. 